the journey has started with a bunch of different places, trying to look for places that were 24 hours, you know, so I could stay overnight, would, that would be quiet. And I found a couple places. The first one was the Ottawa International Airport, where I stayed there for about eight days before I was discovered. I stayed there, then I got escorted out, and then that's when I started the, the, the bus journey, which is behind us, I guess, um, where I would take buses, you know, all through the night. I figured out the bus routes so that I could get to, which was basically from the airport, it was the 97 to Herdman, and then from Herdman I could get to Rideau, and from Rideau I could get all the way to Barhaven Center. Uh, happily discovered that there was a 24-hour Timmy's in Barhaven, and, uh, you know, enjoyed lots of coffee. There's a way that you can basically, between there and the, uh, the, the old train, of basically pretty much staying on buses all night. If you have a bus pass, you can ride as long as much as you want. Just keep tapping your pass. I spent some time at, at, at uh, th three of the hospitals. For that period of time, I found a quiet corner and found a blanket, and I got some good sleep there. I had a storage locker by that time which, where I had my stuff, and uh, I'd heard rumors that you weren't supposed to stay in it, but I'd also found uh, a number of articles online where people were doing it anyway. You know, they just didn't have anywhere to live. So you, where, where are you going to live? You're going to live in your truck. You're going to live in your storage locker. You're going to find, you know, a, a nice tree and camp under it. Tempt village. I mean, what are your choices? You know, and it's not that I can't afford rent. I can afford rent. But the rentals that are out there in Ottawa right now, and everybody knows how difficult it is to find a place. I was at the storage locker for about a month before I got discovered. Somewhere I slipped up. I tried very hard to uh, be inconspicuous. I kept the place clean. It was, it was where I was staying. I didn't eat in there. Uh, it was just get in there, crash, get up. I'm not an expert, but I've lived on the street. I've lived on the street since June. So six months of traveling the roads, meeting people, running into people, seeing what I call the remnants of homelessness. The downtown core is not where people want to stay because they're worried about their safety if they go down to the downtown core. We have all kinds of issues about, uh, about knifings and gunfights and all kinds of stuff in the Byward Market. I love the Byward Market, but I wouldn't stay there. Not, the, not, not on a street corner, not in a shelter. I want to get out of this. I want to find a place that I can rent, which is clean. I can have a nice bath. I can cook some food, you know, and then hopefully still live the uh, Canadian dream, so to speak.